How are you? Good, good. My God, you guys are all making me beyond hungry today. <laughs> Look at this. That's Thanks for coming in today. Yes, that's the point. <laughs> that's, right. that's the point. So before we get to what these dishes are, because it'll kind of lead into that segue of it, is Mesa 21, how long has it been around now? Oh, Mesa's been around for about almost 10 to 11 years now. So it's been around for a long time. Yes, yes. But you guys had a similar situation to Sagres where you had to shut down for a little bit, right? Yeah, we, uh, in 2010, we had a fire. Uh, started outside, unfortunately, it took care of the entire top of the building. So as far as that went, uh, it was a total loss. So nice. unfortunately, from 10, 2010, um, I, I moved on to a different restaurant and was able, able to help them out. And the boys were gracious enough to come back and uh, ask me to see if I'd come back and work for them. And I absolutely said, yeah, 100%. Now, you're touching coming in, and that's, that's thank God that they brought you back, because you're touching coming in. All the feedback that I keep getting, this wonderful feedback, thank is you. about Mesa 21, is about how you have traditions. You have the absolutely. Portuguese traditions yes. that you honor, and, and but you're very kind of eclectic in that time, right? Yeah, we, we try to we try to stay open to new trends, try to set our own trends using product of, you know, Portuguese food, but just turning them into a new light in, um, in one of the dishes that's here. So let's um, talk about that. Let's go. The egg roll here, it was just a, it was a concept. It, I was just, in all honesty, I was just messing around in the kitchen. <laughs> and the best things come out there. Yeah, way. yeah. And, you know, I just, we decided to do a little bit of uh, ground charisse within, within the egg roll. And we threw some cheese in it and made basically a ground charisse sandwich inside of a fried egg roll. You're kidding me. No. So I, this is the tradition it, inside. That is the tradition inside. And this with is the eclectic the, on yes, the outside. with the eclectic on the outside, absolutely. I love that. It's just one of those things that um, working for the guys, um, Danny and Pete, they allow me to do sort of things that I think are going to be fun. Uh, moving forward with fun food, I think, is more satisfying to a lot of chefs yeah. um, rather than always being very... I mean, you have to be diligent and militant, but you also have to have a little bit of fun and passion with your food. I agree 100%. And it seems like, and I, I know we're going to get to these two dishes because they're making me drool <laughs> as well, but it seems like, too, from the perspective of your being a chef and being talented, like you said, having fun, is that you're catering to your demographic because you're still keeping the traditional life. Absolutely. Your traditional people, but you're also helping that younger demographic almost feel a way to have more connected to it. Yeah, the, and, and it was it was a little odd in the beginning for me because I I've, I've have worked in different restaurants. I've worked here in Providence, you know, uh, multitude of other restaurants it was seeing the amount of older families coming in and just eating the Portuguese food which I, I completely understand that's that's you know you that's what you grow up on right so of course you're gonna go after it but then it was we have these 20 somethings now that are in the in the city that are looking for food that's gonna be sort of Providence style sort of New York uh, a little bit of Boston so in that mindset, you know, the boys are the boys are allowing me to kind of so make it, my own way. So he's referencing the boys. We're going to talk about this. This is Peter. Peter and Danny <laughs> Susan. Sorry. The, the owners, Susan. Peter and Danny, who are great. And I appreciate them, you know, making you available to come down here. So we want to give them a shout out. Yes, and, absolutely. And, and again, congratulations to you as well. Let's talk about the other two dishes you brought. Uh, this is a dish that we created for the wintertime. It's a little more hearty. It is a uh, local stuffed sole with a seafood and crab stuffing. Um, I did a little spaghetti vegetable, um, just lightly sautéed in olive oil, Beautiful. and the olive oil happens to come from Mike. Nice, from Portugal. Yes, nice absolutely. connection there, see? Absolutely. We, we, we also like to try to stay local. Um, we use a lot of um, Portugalia products. Um, we use a lot of, you know, native fall river, uh, New Bedford seafood. Yeah, when I was speaking to you the other day, you were headed to one of the seafood yeah, markets Yeah, I was going right? to Kyla's Catch, absolutely. Yep. Um, I, I've always felt it, it's... To be a chef, you should use local. I mean, it, it helps your economy. It makes the people that are buying your food and selling you food to come into your restaurant. It's one of those. Yeah, we, we've talked about that many things. Sourcing yeah. locally, how it's important, and it, it, it's helping not just the economy, but the people that live in your community. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to segue to community side because I definitely want to bring up something about you guys for that. So let's talk about this last dish. Uh, the last dish is a flatbread pizza. It's called our 21. It is prosciutto, it is goat cheese. A little bit of caramelized onions, uh, mozzarella, and I, I didn't put it on today because it, it might have bled a little <laughs> bit. Uh, we use fresh house-made balsamic vinegar. Oh my god, that's amazing! So it, it's one of those. It, it's a odd restaurant to say that 
I'm a Portuguese restaurant that has a brick oven in it. So that's and that, that's exactly where I want to go with it. So you've got a, a brick oven. Yes. How many of these types of things are you producing these pizzas? Like? Um, we have about a half a dozen, maybe a little more um, signature pizzas, and then we have a spot on our menu where you can create your own. That's unbelievable. And one of the other fun things that we do, and I actually haven't seen it, is we have a build your own salad menu. Really? Yes. I have seen people <laughs> make forty dollars salad. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, and that's amazing at the same time because I would love that. But going back to that eclectic Portuguese commission, you started with the egg roll, but then going to the flatbreads and pizzas. Yes. To be able to have that again, you're bringing it full swing for people there. Yeah, we, we're, we're trying. Um, my menu, the menu changes about twice, three times a year. Um, so as we're moving from the winter, we're gonna I'm gonna start lightening up the menu. Uh, some. Some of these might come off. I believe the egg roll is going to stay. This hearty winter dish will probably go. The flatbreads will change, but we'll keep the ones that sell the best. And I want to kind of go back to something you said earlier about sourcing and, and the community is that one of the biggest comments I got about is how community-minded you guys are. Yes, we, we try to be. I mean, I think, I think the community around you are the people that support you. Um, the, uh, the boys have always felt like that. Um, they do a lot for the boys club. We do a lot of um, events for you know families in need through other companies of um, retired uh, police officers that they know that they come in, you know, we'll throw an event and the 90% of the proceeds go to um, right back to the community. So whatever the cause is, yeah. yes. So, and that also ties into, I think, again, all of you guys that I brought in today have this nice tourism angle that you're drawing, because you are, in, it is Massachusetts, yes. technically it is yeah. another state, believe it or not, but draw into this thing where you've got Rhode Island communities, other people that are coming in to see you, but we talked about this and joked around about it, you know, before you came on air, is that it's almost like that cheers effect that you have there, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, even before, well, probably more, more so before the restaurant burnt down. A dozen guys could be, or, uh, anybody could be in the restaurant. The door opens, at least two to three people know the person walking That's through walking the door. That's walking the door, right. Uh, even, even now, we've gained, we've gained more uh, repeat customers and people that have become a lot friendlier with the restaurant. So you'll see a multitude of different kind of people all day long. Right. So, Mesa 21, you got to look this up, you got to check it out. You showcased how they have this eclectic mix there, and especially from the pizzas, because to be honest, both of these things would be of <laughs> great interest for me. Great. But you guys, your beverage program is important to you. You've got a great oh, wine Oh, absolutely. List. You've got we great we cocktails. do. I didn't bring any wine today. That's okay. Um, I, I'm not a big wine guy, but our beer selection is really good. <laughs> um, our wine selection is also it, it's it's getting to be even better than it's been in the past. Well, so. Chef, congratulations to you and to the boys. To the guys. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it, it, and again, I'm really glad that you made the trip to come down because this is kind of the you know an interesting mix of everyone that we've had in for the day. Is that to go from traditional Portuguese to Italian to back to a marketplace, and then to have this mix. And I think that this mix again for the generation coming up today is really important because it keeps us involved in loving the things that we like about Portuguese food, but still have some fun and unique flair to it. Yes. So, but Chef, thank you for making it in today. In closing, I just want to say Fall River again, great destination, close to so many Rhode Island communities. Um, there's a lot that's happened there. The mayor there's done a great job. These restaurants are all still in their own right. Even the oldest Sagres are still in their yeah. own right, up and coming. So, thank you for joining me today on the Taste. I'm Rick Simone. I'll be back on tomorrow covering a guide to forever, our wedding segment that we do. I've got some great guests joining me for that. This weekend, I've got a lot of good things that you'll see me following up on. I'm going to be at Zuma's Wine Dinner. They have this. General manager special wine dinner every year, sometimes twice a year because Armando likes to do it. But I'm going to be with Armando Friday night over there at Zuma. And then this coming weekend, I hope to be interviewing some great celebrity chefs at the Sun Wine Fest that we spoke about uh, a week ago. So you'll see me Friday and Saturday on social media covering those great things. And i got to give another shout out to Ken. I spoke to him earlier at Dave's Marketplace. they got a great Rhode Island tradition, Rhode Island things coming in this weekend, so check them out. But thank you again for joining me on The Taste. I'm Rick Simone. Great job. Great job.